going to accessory maintenance, maintenance, mobility. Okay, new move, new for everyone. You're going to need one, um, did I say medium weights today? I did. One medium dumbbell. Sometimes I worry I didn't tell you the right thing. So that could be anywhere from like a five to an eight. If it's too easy, you can go heavier in set two, but set one. Then we're gonna go to the floor for the second exercise. You don't need any equipment, but if you have a hard floor, you might want your mat and or a pillow to go under your knee. But the first exercise, some of you will recognize a variation of this. We do a lot of things where we hop to the side and find our balance. So we hop to one leg and then we fight to get our balance. And then we hop to the other leg and fight to get our balance. We're gonna add a halo to that. You're gonna have your medium dumbbell. You're gonna step or hop to the side on one leg. The leg that's up, you halo in that direction. Draw one circle around your head with that dumbbell. Then step or hop to the other leg and then halo past that leg on halo. It's really a shoulder mobility exercise and you're trying not to move your back. So you're trying not to sway. So get your balance, freeze in position, then halo. All right, it might be tricky. If it's tricky, <laughs> find your balance and then twist and then back. Okay, so that would be a little bit easier, twist and then back. So you find your balance and then you move. Okay, three, two, one, go. Step or hop to the side, find your balance, halo. <laughs> now, because we're holding a dumbbell, I wouldn't necessarily tell people to jump, but if you feel confident, you can sort of jump to the side rather than step. <laughs> Either way, it's fine. When you jump a little bit, you've got a bit of momentum that you have to control when you land. The goal is to be on one foot at all times. Stand nice and tall, find that balance, then brace your abs, tight core. Maybe look at one thing. So these accessory balance maintenance ex exercises that we do really work the fine, the little small muscles that support all the big moves that we do. Also fall prevention. I'm just building up that endurance. All right, there's your beep, rest. Going to the Ooh, floor. That, that was cool and a doozy and hard and cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, I thought y'all might like that. <laughs> Renee, I'll expect to see you doing that later on the ice today. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm thinking. I'm like, did Shannon talk to Laura to get us ready for the ice? <laughs> uh, half kneeling position, so one knee on your pillow. In fact, I want you to be on your right knee and I want your left leg forward. So you're like this. All right, we're gonna hinge and then open to the sky. So what you're going to do is your left leg is forward. I want you to turn to the right, hinge down with control, set your hands on the floor. Now take your left arm, reach it up toward the ceiling and look up. So you got a rotation there, a twist. Put that arm back down. And then with control, hinge back up to your kneeling position. We're gonna do this for 45 seconds on this side. It's not for how many you can do, it's for control. Three, two, one, here we go. Hinge down, land softly on your hands. Left arm up, look up, back down. And then hinge back up to the start position. It's one of those things that's a little sneakier than it looks coming up and down with control. You're gonna notice that front leg in particular, at least for me, fires up. So you are hitting core, you're hitting glutes, some of your thigh muscles as well. Here comes your beep. Rest, switch. You'll be kneeling on your left knee, right leg forward. Now you're gonna turn hinge to the left in three, two, one, go. Lower down with control. Right arm goes up, look up. Arm goes back down, hinge back up. You might find one side is harder than the other. That's typical, you have a strong leg. 
you have a strong arm, a dominant side. This is my strong side. <laughs> I feel way less wobbly on this side. Now we've talked about this back foot, your left foot. Is it toes turned under or is it, are you resting on the top of your foot? Either way is fine with me. You might have, you might just default to something. For me with my toes under, it feels a little bit like a kickstand and it feels like it helps me a bit. So that's good. There's your beat. All right, hop yourself up, grab your medium dumbbell. One more set of each. Hop or step to the side, find your balance. Halo past the front leg or twist past the front leg. That's the move. It's one minute. Going in three, two, one, go. Now, second set, best set. With that halo, in order for it to be mobility for the shoulders, you have to get that dumbbell behind your head as much as you can without arching your back. So brace the abs about 50%, nice and tall in that balanced position. Ooh, any kind of wobble. <laughs> so when you wobble and you fight for it, that's okay. It means you're actually gonna challenge those muscles that are needed to balance in this move. Be careful, I don't want anyone tumbling, but if you wobble a little, it's okay. wobbling more in set two than I did in set one. <laughs> Rest. Going to back to the one where you're kneeling on the pillow. So this time left knee on the pillow, right leg in front. And then we turn to the left and hinge down. Three, two, one, go. Hinge down, land softly on the hand. Right arm up, look up, and then reverse it back to the start position. Now, one thing you might notice on the way down and on the way up, that right hip wants to kick out to the right to offer a little bit of counterbalance, a little bit of weight on the other end of this fulcrum here. But Maybe try not to do that. Maybe just freeze the legs into place, push through that front leg, use core muscles to come up, core muscles to go down. That twist is nice. I made this interval a little bit longer. You have 15 seconds left. Remember to look up. So that arm goes up, you look up because that way you're taking your neck with your spine. You don't want to twist your spine one way and your neck the other. That's not going to be great. Three, two, and one. Gracefully come out of it. That's another thing you'll hear me say a lot. Try, if you're halfway through a rep, just finish the rep <laughs> so you can come out of it with control. Other side, right knee is on the pillow. Left <clears throat> leg is forward, nice and tall to start. Three, two, one. Here we go. Hinge it down. Left arm up, look up, and reverse to start. It's one minute. Oh, <laughs> this is my weak side. <laughs> uh, started hinging down. It's like losing control. <laughs> Landing heavy. All of these moves are going to be, there's certain times where like somebody is like, this is easy. I don't feel anything. And other people are like, wow, this is hard. I'm wobbling. We just all come to this with our own strengths and weaknesses. And even if it's easy for us, it can be just a really nice mobility maintenance level exercise. 12 seconds, eight seconds, four, three, two, and one. Done with that. Moving to abs and glutes. We're gonna be on the floor. You do not need any, ugh, can't talk. You won't need any equipment. We're going to do only two sets today, unfortunately, because of time. 
I am going to lead a stretch so that it's on the video. If you can't stay, because we'll go over on our time. If you can't stay for the stretch, no worries. Just try to get some stretching in on your own time. All right, no equipment needed. You're going to be lying on your back for all three. Let me see, I don't wanna be in the sunshine. All right, knees bent, feet flat on the floor, hands folded behind your head. Some of you have seen this before. This is a 12 count move. So we curl up, we hold for four. We reach our arms long next to our ears, we hold for four. We reach our hands to our knees and we curl up a little bit higher for four. And then we take four counts to lower down and then we come right back in. The good news is there's only four, but it's a 12 count move. So you have time under tension for those abs for quite a while. Hands folded <laughs> behind your head. Walk your feet just a little bit further away from your butt. All right, inhale to get ready. Exhale, curl up, hold here for four, three, two, one. Reach arms long, four, three, two, one. Reach for your knees, four, three, two, one. Lower all the way back to the floor, start position. Inhale, exhale up, hold here. Tuck your chin really close to your chest, not touching, but an inch apart or inch away. Reach long, four, three, two, one. Reach over the knees, four, three, two, one, and lower down. Remember to tuck the chin. Exhale up, here we go. Exhale up, hold four, three, two, one. Reach long, four, three, two, I can't talk. One, reach knees, four, three, two, one. Lower down with control. One more time, here we go. Exhale up, hold four, three, two, one one reach long four three two one reach knees four three two one lower down with control Ooh, fire in the abs okay let me think here <laughs> sometimes i'm like wait what are we doing okay <laughs> right right knee bent left leg straight right arm overhead what you're going to do is bring your right hand and your left foot together up over the body so there's a reach and a twist and then you come back down extend long exhale up inhale down here we go exhale up reach inhale down exhale up reach inhale down focus a little bit on the twist here's three going for ten four five if it hurts your neck put your right hand behind your head six then bring your right elbow and your left knee together seven gives you a little support on the neck eight nine and ten done switch <clears throat> All right, left arm overhead, right leg is straight, left knee is bent. Here we go, exhale up, left hand to right foot, inhale down. Exhale up, reach, inhale down. I'm just peeling my head and shoulders off the floor. Exhale on the way up, inhale down, here's four. Hand behind your head if you need some support on the neck. Here's five. A Little bit of twist here, six. seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Good, all right, gonna rest your abs and hit glutes. I want you to cross your left ankle over your right knee. We're going to do a single leg bridge. What we're going to do is four singles, and by singles, I mean push up, and then set it down, all the way up, all the way down, just a regular bridge. Then we'll do seven pulses. And the reason for that is because on count eight, we come down, we do it again. So four all the way up, all the way down, and then seven pulses at the top. I'll count it out. We're going four rounds of that. Pushing down into the right heel. Ready? Here we go, press up. Up one, set it down. Up two, squeeze the right glute. Up three. 
up four, all the way down, lift and pulse, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, set it down, singles again, up one, all the way down, up two, all the way down, three, push on the right heel, four, set it down, up and pulse, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, set it down, singles, up one, up two, up three, up four, up and pulse, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, set it down, one more time, up one, up two, last time on the side, up three, up four, up and pulse, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, set that down, uncross the legs, hug your right oh. knee into your chest, <laughs> yay, glutes, <laughs> right ankle over left knee, singles for four, ready, exhale up, here we go, press one, pushing in the heel, down, push two, down, up three, down, up four, down, up and pulse, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, set it down, again, up one, all the way down, up two, all the way down, three, down, four, down, up pulse, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, halfway, up one, down, up two, down, up three, down, up four, down, up and pulse, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more time, up one, down, up two, down, up three, up four, up and pulse, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set it down, hug that leg into your chest, stretch that out. Oh man, we're running out of time. Hands folded behind your head, knees are bent. Walk your feet a little bit further away from your hips. 12 count move, inhale to get ready. Exhale up, here we go. Curl up, hold one, two, three, four. Reach long, four, three, two, one. Reach knees, four, three, two, one. Lower down, inhale. Exhale right back up, hold four, three, two, one. Reach long, chin is an inch away from your chest. Your eyes are looking right over your knees. Reach knees, four, three, two, one. And lower down with control. Inhale here. Exhale up, four, three, two, one. Reach long, pull your abs in flat toward the floor. Reach over your knees, four, three, two, one. <coughs> Lower it down with control. <sighs> Exhale up. Four, three, two, one. Reach long. Is this the third time or the fourth? Reach knees. Four, three. I think it's the fourth. <laughs> Lower down. No answers. <laughs> Is that four? Anyone? I don't know. Anyone? I don't know either. <sighs> okay, we're out of time. So here's what you're going to do keep your hands folded behind your head. Keep your knees the right where they were. I want you to crisscross right elbow, left knee, set it all down with control. Crisscross other side, alternating sides, ready, set, and go. Exhale, cross, set it down with control. Control it up, control it down. Exhale on the twist. Support your head. Don't pull with the hands, just support the head. You should not feel any strain in your neck. Then you'll feel your abs working harder. New people, you'll find that this happens all the time. I, in my head, we can fit 92 exercises in and we can't. So I always have to prioritize, and either change something on the fly or leave something off. Ah. Keep going, 15 seconds. On the bridge, we're gonna change that as well, just so we can do one set instead of two. Eight seconds. 
when you do the video on your own, you can adapt it however you want. Here comes your beep. Rest, bring your feet in a little bit closer to your butt. We're gonna do um, the same tempo, but we're gonna push with both legs instead of right side, left side. Four singles, ready? Here we go, push up, push in the heels all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down. Two more, here's three, squeeze the glutes. Here's four, up and pulse, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, set it down. Again, up one, big squeeze, up two, push in the heels, up three, up four, up and pulse, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, set it down. Singles, one, two, big squeeze, three, four, up and pulse, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, set it down. Last time, up one, up two, up three, up four, last set of pulses, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, set it down. Stretch time, hug your knees up to your chest. <laughs> 